Hi, it's Miss Rosa Belt, and I wanted to come and share with you a few things that I'm really, really digging right now. I haven't done a video like this in a while, so I have about 10 things that I want to share with you. Now, the first thing I'm actually wearing, <laughs> yes, well, a few of the things I'm wearing, but the first one is, see this big bun? Yes, that big bun. The bun maker that I used to make the bun, I actually crocheted it. I can't, yes, I crocheted a bun maker. And I did do a tutorial that I will be uploading on my other channel, Colors of Lily. So if you want to see the tutorial, make sure you go over there and subscribe to that channel because I will be up uploading it on that channel. But this is what the bun maker looks like that I crochet and I crochet the tutorial one in red so that you can see it and if you have if you dyed your hair red that traditional black one just or brown one just won't do you need something like you can change the colors on and you can make these as big as you want or as small as you want so if you want one of those really huge buns up top you can actually make a bun maker that's just big enough that you can use you know so so that's the first thing I'm really digging right now. The second thing is a product that I didn't really buy for me. I bought it for my great niece whose hair that I've been doing here and there because I want to see if I can make her plaits last longer. Um, the name of the product is Shine and Jam. And my great niece's hair is very soft, it's spongy, tightly cold, and it's very fragile. And it, it just, it doesn't keep the plaits as long as I would like for them to stay in. So I got this product to see if the plaits will last a little longer. Because this is a extra hold and a lady at work told me about this. And right now, um, that her plaits did last. Her mother said they did last a little longer using that product. So that's definite, definitely a keeper. The next thing I want to share with you is this nail polish remover dispenser now i purchase nail polish remover all the time but when i saw this dispenser i was intrigued because i've gone to sally's and bought other nail polish dispensers that were just not as secure or or, or, or sturdy as i would like and this one seemed a lot more sturdy the bottle is really hard plastic and the top is very secure where it keeps the nail polish from evaporating the lever that you press down on to bring the nail polish up, all of that feels so secure and so sturdy, you know. So when I was thinking about going back and buying another one, they're like $2.99 at, at um, Walgreens. And this is the Studio 35 Beauty brand. I think they're like $2.99. And I was thinking about going back and buying another one to put my acetone in. The next thing that I want to share with you, I found out by way of Makeup Vixen, aka Tasty Redbone. Then I was hanging out with Curly Girl Jess last weekend, I believe. Yeah, last weekend. And she told me she's using it also, and it is Instant Artificials. I purchased a product for, I, I believe, around $8, and they should make my nails a little harder so that they can give my nails the opportunity to grow. I also purchased the Out the Door, and this is a super fast drying top coat. I purchased that from Sally's too, and it was about eight or nine dollars as well. And I am really liking this because my nails do dry really quickly when I use this product, and I've used it maybe three or four times now. The next product I'm wearing, and it is the lipstick that I'm wearing. But what makes it really stand out to me? Is when I use it with my EOS lip moisturizer I am really liking this moisturizer because it helps my lips to stay moisturized throughout the day I also the lipstick is the Milani and the name of the color is hot pink rage and this color to me is awesome on me it's not too in your face pink it's just right pink and I like that the next thing I'm really liking is this physicians formula I quad set here and it's the name of it is Canyon Classics and it's a matte collection quad eyeshadow by Physicians Formula. 
and that's what it looks like I am digging those colors they're very neutral they're easy going they're easy to apply they, they go on so nice and smooth and I have really been wearing this a lot this has really become my go-to eyeshadow for when I get ready to go to work it goes on so super easy the next item and I found this by way of C key is the Aveeno Clear Complexions Foaming Cleanser. This is like my daily cleanser and it says that it's for clear even looking skin. And I got sick a few months ago where I, and then I had like a major breakout in my face so I, I was left with a lot of spots in my face and I'm really feeling like this is helping my skin to um, to, to fade, helping the spots to fade in my face and it helps my skin to really feel nice after I wash it with that stuff. I also wanted to let you know that I have been using this Lush Blocks Lavender and Lemongrass oil on my hair and skin and I am really, really loving this stuff and if you can see there how much has been used, it's like down to there. I really need to order some from LushLocksProducts.com to um so that I can have a big bottle of it because I'll be out of this shortly. But I love this and if you like the smell of lemongrass then this product is really, really what you need if you need um, oil. The last but definitely not least item that I want to show you is this pair of shoes. These shoes are bad. I am loving these shoes and they are so comfortable. I wore them to an event at night, walking around, dancing and shucking and jiving with my family. We had a blast but my shoe my feet did not hurt at all in these shoes they are so comfortable these are chemical these are chemical production and unlisted and i'm telling you these are some bad shoes i'm glad i purchased them and i think they were like 32 dollars those are the items that i'm truly digging right now and if you have something new and fresh to you that you're digging Put it down in the comments section and share it with me and the other viewers. And I thank you in advance for sharing. So y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.